Yo, what is up, people? Back here with another video. We are here with my wonderful girlfriend, Sierra. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Sorry if you guys didn't want to hear about gross relationship stuff. You know, like, Pokemon players actually aren't allowed to have girlfriends. I don't know if you knew that. So, you know, too bad. Sorry, Sierra. <laughs> right from this video, right from this video, we're not together anymore. Sorry. Sorry to all my fans. No, I'm, I'm, I am, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, 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 kidding. <laughs> Definitely kidding, definitely kidding. Um, all right. So, yeah, if you guys are wondering what this video is, like, wow, Joe, why do you have Sierra on here? Basically, um, so we're building a team for, like, the X9 League um, Championship 2 uh, tournament I'm hosting. Sierra's competing in there. She really wanted to use Ho-Oh, so we're like, okay, you know, like, why not make a video out of it and just, like, show what we did? So, obviously, we kind of, like, went through the ideas already, but we're going to break it down for you guys to show you guys kind of how the team came together and kind of how to build with Ho-Oh specifically because that's what she wanted to use. So... And by we've gone through the team already, we mean that we te like recorded a video, messed up the audio, and are redoing it. So Yeah, so basically we recorded like half of the last video, <laughs> and then halfway through I was like, oh shit, I was like, Sierra's audio isn't working. And I was like, whoops. So, <laughs> so we definitely already took a look at the team. Yeah, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so we'll be going through it again, but I still think it'll be like helpful anyways, but yeah. Um, okay. so yeah, so basically we started with Ho-Oh and like, obviously <laughs> going through it again, what do you think are like some of the strengths of like Ho-Oh, like just as a mom? I mean, first, super cute, um, super strong fire type and fire is just like good right now. Fast, bulky, regenerator, super cool. Mm -hmm. Looks and, cool. Yeah. Ever and like, what are some mons you think Ho-Oh is good against specifically that like it matches up well against? That would be like helpful to be good against. Like steel types grass types right now like i like the metagross there's the zacian run around like mm -hmm. yeah and like yes that yeah and like even something like even um what's it called xerneas can't really break through well because like if you look at its special defense right and you look at its hp like how is xerneas gonna yeah. break through this even with a geomancy <laughs> boost you know kind of kind of bulky yeah so kinda like sick. Yeah, it's just, like, super helpful. Especially, too, because you could have screens and eerie impulse. Like, how is Xerneas going to break through that, you know? Um, but, yeah, so basically, it like... it burns everything. Well, it burns 50% of things. And you never hit the ones you want. But it burns everything other than that. It burns everything except for when you want it to. So... Pretty much. Pretty yeah. much. But um, if you guys are wondering kind of, like, where we go from here, like, well, where, where do you think we would go from here? Like, basically, Ho is bulky. It has recover. It kind of has protect to protect itself. Like, where do you think we'd want to go from here? Um, add some more bulk and get some screens going on. Yeah. So, like, why do you think like Grimmsnarl is good here? Like, what does Grimmsnarl specifically contribute that makes like it useful for Ho? -Oh? Um, just screens. So Ho -Oh is even bulkier and just like super annoying to like break through the team and stuff. Yeah, and like as we talked about like well <laughs> last recording, like what do you think is like a specific stat that like maybe Ho -Oh appreciates also the like screens for? Um, the defense, because, like, its special defense is, like, pretty good, but its defense is a little lacking in comparison to everything else. Yeah, exactly. And, like, you're just kind of, like, having it, helping it have overall bulk. Like, its sets are pretty good anyways, but it's still good to, like, kind of just increase that bulk, kind of keep it around, and, like, make it a little bit more, um, what's it called? Like, harder to kill, basically. Right. Um, yeah, and, like, more annoying, basically. Um, but, yeah, so, like, you'll see here we have, like, a decent kind of, like, start. Um, you can see that, like, kind of it's focused around getting burns, like, kind of reducing damage and, like, that stuff. So, for the most part, we're pretty well equipped in terms of, like, damage mitigation. Obviously, there's going to be a few more things we're going to add to make it even more well-rounded. But, yeah. So, the next thing that we're going to add, like, what do you think is something that, like, Ho-Oh may struggle with um, that, like, we have discussed? The bane of my existence, that Kyogre with the water spout and the rain and the doing a million and a half damage to anything that touches the field yeah so like the funny water whale is definitely not fun so <laughs> we definitely like need something to check it and like what do you think would be a good mon to check it the other bane of my existence rillaboom yeah so basically like rillaboom is like helping a lot here basically what rillaboom does for the team is it gives you a grass type this kind of starts completing your fire water grass core um, so you like you said we have a fire type we have a grass type right and then like that kind of means like it kind of fits in to have a water type right which would be like solid for the team and then you'll see too that Rillaboom also can appreciate the bulk from screens and also grass screen gives you some passive recovery anyways on most of your mods except for the ho obviously um, but yeah for the most part it's like pretty solid and like that makes it definitely like super useful so that's the main benefit of Rillaboom there and what do you think would be like the next one that would kind of like round this out well um, for the team 
since um, we mentioned a fire water go to like fill out like the holy like the trio so we got the fire then we got the grass so like a water type mm -hmm. yeah right. and like what kind of water type do you think we'd want here and like why full spoilers i already know the answer um but pre-marina yeah. um because first it's cute second i'm not um, sure that was one of the reasons but you know <laughs> no, no, it was a, it was, that was that was the first reason that you actually listed so don't even um <laughs> but then it's a strong water type as well as it's actually a special attacker which we don't have one of those yet so yeah so it's like super helpful um it kind of lets us have like some special offense on the team that just kind of prevents the team from being a little too um mitigated by like intimidate or like you know some form of like reflect or something and this basically kind of splits your offense stats like so why do you think that would be like useful to like split your offensive like uh moves basically or like have like a special attacker and a physical attacker um so you just get you don't get walled by something basically yeah. Yeah, so, like, for physical attackers, stuff like Steel Spikes, you know, like, Intimidates, um, Reflect, and then for special attackers, like, Snarl, Eerie Impulse, you know, Light Screen, that kind of stuff, and even Max Quake, right? So, like, that's just stuff to, like, keep keep an eye out for. So, yeah, so what do you think is, like, something that would, like, kind of give us another, like, mode of, like, speed control and also damage reduction for the team that would, like, help the team out? Um, our favorite little P2 yeah <laughs> i mean this is i mean this is probably a mon you're like super comfortable with at this point i mean we played yeah. like so if you guys want a look at the other team we used um back like way before let me go to uh what's it called uh where is it crystal teams yeah so like we used this garchomp team for a while and it like utilized like eerie impulse p2 so like it was pretty much like similar in terms of like how it like functions it uh to like the team we're currently like building in terms of like reducing damage all that stuff but yeah so that's like the main a very similar like version of that team too that we used for like players cup qualifier oh yeah and we used a version with landers over garchomp as well um that was actually uh ko's team that he won zelda challenge with pretty much like it was edited but like for the most part like kind of similar but yeah so that was like kind of the main uh parallels you see there and like this team is kind of centered around the same thing you know having bulky mons that can recover kind of heal up and then put on offensive pressure in like certain moments when it's important too right so like mm -hmm. What, 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 like, main things do P2 add to this team in terms of, like, not even just, not even just, like, moves it goes for, but in terms of, like, typing? Um, well, it's nice, too, because it can, like, it has trick room, so you can, like, like, switch back, um, if mm -hmm. someone else tries to do trick room, or if the other team's just faster, you can, just, like, switch into it. So mm -hmm. I was, like, your impulse is nice, and, like, having a normal attacker, which seems, like, weird, but considering there's ghost horses, like, running around, that's kind of, like, nice mm -hmm. to have as well. Yeah, exactly. So you just stop, like, uh, Calyrex Ghost Rider from just, like, kind of, like, running through your team because you have Grimstar on P2, which kind of wall it. So you have, like, a more than decent enough matchup for it. And then, like, you have, like, other mons that can kind of, like, pick up the slack of, like, maybe P2 only carrying one offensive move. And, like, we kind of deal with that with the moves anyways. But, yeah. So that's, like, the main benefit there. So let me go to the final mon. What do you think is, like, a good final mon to, like, have on this, like, core? Like, obviously you know, but, like, why do you think, like... So, basically the mon... I, I'm just going to start saying the mons and just talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I, I can't guess if I already know the answer. Yeah, because right? yeah, we, 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 yeah, we recorded this video once already. So, like, now it's definitely, like... I'm just going to be like, okay, well, why is this here, you know? So, like, why do you think we're using, like, Celesteela? Um, well, kind of, like balance out a couple of the things we're missing to like a strong like steel attacker plus um wide guard which is like nice so it's like there's a lot of spread damage things happening going like in the game right now so it's nice to have celesteel with the wide guard to kind of like prevent that and be really annoying for your opponent to like have to work around yeah and i just think like um i just think like the main benefit of like celesteel too is just its ability to kind of like use steel spikes right that can potentially boost up your ho as well go for air streams which can boost speed of some of your mons and also too like just the leech seed and y guard um which we're going to add to this is just kind of good for stopping stuff like water spout you know like those spread moves um and yeah and just leech seed too is just like super helpful because you can kind of stick around be a little annoying you see that there's a lot of health recovery on this team which is like super useful so that's like the main benefit mm -hmm. there and i don't know if you know about this sierra but basically like i'm sure you know because like it's kind of like a simple mechanic but like like even when you leech seed something with the celesteela which you could potentially do is swap into another mon in the back that can like take advantage of the leech seed anyways so it's like i did know that because i didn't know that and i lost a game because um 
you didn't know that <laughs> on, and i thought that it stopped leech seeds so i didn't bother to switch out mine and then i lost <laughs> because of that no, specific yeah. scenario so yeah that one's ingrained in my head now <laughs> no yeah so like basically like that's just kind of the neat thing as well like for example right like maybe your ho -Oh is low on health right and like you have a free swap into it i guess that's the best example because you leech seed with all seal okay maybe like rillaboom right like they're gonna electric move you and like you know it's coming you can swap into your rillaboom like take the hit like maybe on like red and then like lead seed back up some health you know and get like grassy mm -hmm. to recover or just something like that that could be really helpful for the team so it's definitely like a bunch yeah. of useful like stuff there that can just be really nice um and in terms of uh in terms of like the composition there's a lot of like lack of redundancy in terms of weaknesses which makes this like super beneficial so yeah so like obviously we've kind of uh, talked their move sets before. We're gonna be running light clay here. The main reasoning for light clay is just that light clay is um, able to let screens kind of last longer. And like basically here with the screens, you're able to basically here with the screens, you're just able to kind of reduce damage. And like, what do you think is like the use of like fake tears on this team? Um, so fake tears is really nice because if you're gonna like have a bit more of a passive start with like the Grim Snarl and P two. It doesn't actually have to be that passive of a start mm. because you can like reduce their special defense with fake tears for something to hit it later or it's just the p2 to start hitting tri attacks into it which can actually deal like some pretty good damage like p2 is not like the weakest thing out there like mm. it kind of kind of packs a little bit of a punch right yeah. and like what are some other special attackers you think would maybe benefit from like the fake tears as well the the Sally and the prima as well yeah and like you... yeah yeah, yeah yeah and like you guys will see the importance of um the uh, like having a split between the special attackers and physical attackers you see we have at least three attackers that can abuse the fake tears which makes it a very viable move choice while also having like obviously some physical mons that prevent you from getting walled out if obviously they're better against physical attacks and like you'll see that like two of our mons are more oriented around supportive roles so like grim snarl and p2 and then you'll see like our more offensive mons, Rillaboom, Primarina. And then like you'll see Celestila and Ho -Oh kind of fill the role of both. They can both be offensive and a little more defensive, depending on the situation. Like that's kind of the mm -hmm. benefit there. The main reasoning too for having a Celestila as well is it also helps a little bit with the Zacian matchup. Um Zacian can also present a little bit of difficulty, especially if it has like something like Wild Charge, right? And like obviously that's gonna do a little bit more to Ho -Oh because of its weak defense. Celestila can take those a little bit better and go for stuff like Steel Spike as well, which is like super nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So obviously we're gonna go over ho. Like, what item are we running here? Like, and like, why do you think we'd run that item specifically? Um, I'm not hundred percent sure. To you. Okay, just like between between like the items that you would think we would pick. Like, what do you think are some like good candidates? Considering there's stuff like Venusaur in the format. Considering there's stuff like Spore in the format. Like, what do you think would be a good item to well, do? I, that? Yeah. I feel like that's a really big hint that um safety goggles is probably the proper yeah. thing to put in. <laughs> yeah no exactly and um don't don't let sierra sell you guys short she's actually very good at the game when she you know really like big brain stuff you know so don't don't sell yourself too short there either you know <laughs> oh my god all right but anyways okay. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying it's true but yeah so what do you think are like the four moves we'd want here and like why do you think we'd want them well, ever since Series 8 got announced, I've been only using Ho Team, and it seems like Brave Bird, Sacred Fire, Recover, and Protect seem to just be like a really strong move pool. Obviously, Sacred Fire and Brave Bird, you get two really strong stabs. Recover, your bulky wire, you're not going to take advantage of that. Protect's just like invaluable to have. Um, what's really nice about Sacred Fire, too, is you burn 50% of the time. Always 50% of the time, you don't need the burn, but the really high burn chance is really nice because you can kind of like like nerf their pokemon in that sort of way too mm -hmm. yeah and like the burn chance is really good especially with like reflect up right that's just super solid in general um and mm -hmm. just like even that chance of just being able to burn is like huge because like um I never hit the one you want but like it's still it's still <laughs> it's still a nice glimmer of hope in a battle that you might actually hit it you know yeah you know like maybe i can burn <laughs> you're poor playing so yeah it's like maybe i can burn if i want to you know maybe yeah pretty much pretty much no, yeah, but um, so that's pretty much the ho -Oh set. Like, what do you think the Celesteel again uh, set is gonna be? Um, I know we already talked about the Wide Guard and Leech Seed. Mm -hmm. Um, since we don't really have like we don't have another Steel Pokemon on the team, I'd assume like a strong Steel attack here. Okay. So which yes. we mentioned Celesteel being a special attacker, right? So like, what special 
uh, still move whatever. Oh, I do is. not know these off the top of my head. I think flash isn't it flash cannon? Yep. I think I got wrecked by that earlier today. Yep, it's flash cannon. Also, I used it in the draft league match that you commentated earlier as well, so you got to see that too. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, what do you think is its flying coverage on the special end? Um, is it air slash? Yes, air slash. Yep. So okay. you'll see that has air slash as well. Obviously, it lets you go for max air streams. I'm actually gonna invert this. So I don't know if you have this, um, babe, but like basically, like when I do uh, like moves on showdown, like I need it to be in like a hill. So you'll see like here, it's kind of like a downward hill. And, like over here, it's like it's like a hill. I don't know why, but like it's like very satisfying. Like isn't it? Doesn't it just look aesthetically nice? I like I've never actually. I'm more focused on like what I'm trying to get the mods to do as opposed to how the, like the moves look. But like, <laughs> wait, you, you do you. That's. I, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe 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 I got so bored with doing the first thing that I was like, ah, oh, I need to make sure the moves look pretty now, <laughs> like it, like yeah. a row. At, at least if you're gonna lose the games, at least your moves look pretty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You heard it. You heard it here first. So. No, yeah, but basically we're going to be running leftovers here. That paired with Leech Seed means that Celesteel is going to be healing like a huge chunk of its health every single turn, which is like absolutely like incredibly useful. Um, so it's definitely like just something that's not to be like overlooked in terms of like being useful as just like for mod in general. Um, but yeah, so that's like that's like the main thing there. Um, do you have any like questions about the Celesteel or does that all make sense for the most part? Um, not for the Celesteel, no, not hmm. really. Yeah. So, okay, so we're on the Rillaboom now, right? Um, what is Rillaboom's, like, kind of intention here? Um, to be a strong grass type and abuse the grassy terrain that it sets. Okay, and, well, like, what mon were we specifically thinking about? We talked about this a bit earlier, but what mon was Kyogre. it? Kyogre. Okay, so what does Kyogre go for that's, like, really strong? The Water Spout. And what is Water Spout based on? Based on the amount of HP it has, and the less it has, the less the attack does. Exactly. So what move here is going to be a huge asset for Rillaboom to use? The Grassy Glide gets some priority. Right. And even if we could potentially pick up the KO on the, you know, Kyogre, that could definitely be super useful, right? So, like, what mm -hmm. item do you think we'd want if we're also trying to power up our grass moves in general on the team? Huh. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's a it's a funny seed that potentially makes it more connected to nature. Miracles? Is that what yes. it's called? Yes, yeah, it's called Miracle Seed. It is, it is okay. Let's go. So Miracle Seed basically <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> basically Miracle Seed here allows the Rillaboom to go for strong grassy glides. It allows it to go for strong wood hammers. Now the other option you have here, um, that is also an alternate uh choice, is something like a salt vest. Assault Vest basically allows you to just take hits from Kyogre a little less worse. But for this case and for this video, for I think it's a little bit better to run Miracle Seed just so you can get a little bit more damage on the board. You also don't have to worry about taking hits from Kyogre if the Kyogre is dead. Yeah. But... Um, and that's like something too, like obviously, like, so we're not going to do DVs because we're posting this video like, well, it's going to be Saturday for like people who are watching the video. But today is Friday and it's like the day before the tournament. So, well, it's actually already Saturday because it's like mad late and we're degenerate. But yeah it's like 2a <laughs> whatever um but yeah so basically um we're going to what's it called like do dvs and stuff off stream or like off like video but like basically what we want to do here is just kind of go through a process uh it's open team sheet anyway so there's no like bad part about giving up the info a little bit early in terms of like items and moves but yeah that's basically like the strength of the team there so then yeah you'll see over here we just have a really boom very, very standard set protect kind of lets you reposition if like you're ever caught in a bad position you can just protect pretty solid um and yeah so the next next one is gonna be pre-marina so what item or what items do you think could be good on this pre-marina um i feel like i see a lot of like life orb pre-marinas okay and like why would life orb be good for pre-marina um, you just do more damage okay yeah i mean that's pretty much it <laughs> so yeah for uh, the most part you get a choice between assault vest or a between um Life Orb, Life Orb is benefited by damage. Assault Vest lets you run Hyper Voice as well, which lets you go for a spread water move that doesn't make you rely on Hydro Cannon. Obviously, you're doing a little bit less damage though, but you do have Fake Tears to compensate for that. So between both of those, it's kind of up in the air. So I'm going to say like you could do one or the other. Do you have a preference here? Um, I kind of really like being able to go for Hyper Voice and not have to rely on the two hits. Mm -hmm. Like personally, 
yeah so that we could just roll with that for the video that's fine so then let's say we're building out a hyper uh hyper voice like you know liquid voice centric pre marina obviously you can change it to liquid voice and then basically here uh the coverage you're going to want you're going to want hyper voice hydro cannon obviously your two water stabs then you're going to run Moonblast and then Blizzard. Basically, Blizzard gives you a strong ice move to hit grass types. Moonblast lets you hit, um, obviously, stuff like Urshifu and just, like, other dark types anyways, like Moltres, you know. And then Hydro Cannon Hyper Voice lets you just do, like, solid damage. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's the main point of those mons there. All right, P2, our favorite. We used this before. <laughs> what do uh, what do you think we're going to be running? Besides Evil Light, Evil Light's pretty obvious, right? But, like, what do you think we're going to be running, like, move-wise? And, like, why do you think we'd be running the move? Well, I know we talked about the Eerie Impulse already. Mm -hmm. um, it's super nice for neutralizing special attackers. Mm -hmm. um, the Trick Room, of course. So we have a way to, like, re like reverse it. There's the word. Reverse it or mm -hmm. set it if we really want to um recover because i mean that's just like a must have and then try attack yeah exactly and like that way the p2 is kind of well rounded it can reduce damage it can also deal some damage and it's just super helpful there so yeah that's like pretty much the main uh like way we kind of built the team how the team came together for the most part in terms of like the pairs that are more so useful on this team um you'll see stuff like porygon 2 grimmsnarl that can really stop a calyrex a shadow rider lead you can go for eerie impulses you can go for light screens right you can slow those down then you also have the option of pre marina to break through stuff like Moltres, Eveltal, like other Ho O's, stuff like that. Then you have Celesteela with Wide Guard to kind of help versus stuff with Rock Slide and stuff with Water Spout. So, do you have any other thoughts on the team or things that you want to uh, uh, sort of give input yeah, into? Yeah, I wanted to ask about just because I'm still trying to like learn like when it's best to be bringing what Pokemon or like mm -hmm. when things can be subbed out. But like there is three things on the team that are weak to lightning at what point would you ever or would you ever consider like a ride to over the p2 considering they do kind of like the similar thing in the fact that they both have access to eerie impulse and then right also has like potential like speed control doesn't it with like melts and stuff mm -hmm. yeah Plus so yeah, so Light so Raichu isn't necessarily a bad uh, call. The only reason why you'd want P2 is because, remember, you also have to deal with Calyrex, right? And you want something specifically to deal with Calyrex, and, like, having both Grimstar and P2 lets you kind of deal with that a little bit stronger. Um, Raichu is not necessarily a bad call if you support the team correctly enough, because it does give you an extra fake out option. The only thing that you would need to be aware of if you were doing that is you're kind of giving up a key mon that's kind of... Like, as we mentioned, this seems kind of based around, like, slowing your opponent down, like, recovering, right? So, like you're not going to be able to like reduce their incoming damage as well as you could with like having p2 if that makes sense mm -hmm. um, it's not necessarily like a, a bad choice it's more of like a preference thing but in a way like it is a little bit better to have p2 because then you can also like recover and kind of like take certain hits better on the team mm -hmm. so so then if you're against like a lightning type are you just trying to like take the hits with like the rillaboom and like p2 and grimstar and stuff well like bringing the damage down to like slowly toy at them or oh, side note i just think it's really funny how you call it lightning type <laughs> instead of electric type it's like <laughs> it's like it's like you're trying to teach someone from like another like country how to like how to like say something <laughs> and you're like no it's electric type not lightning type <laughs> but yeah my bad nah I'm just it's, it's all good it's all my good bad. it's always funny i'm gonna blame it on being a tcg player it's ruined me <laughs> it's okay that's it uh, it's okay i, I think still call it electric in that but you know <laughs> no yeah but um yeah so like versus an electric type pretty much the way you're gonna be able to deal with it is with screens and swapping in your rillaboom your rillaboom can resist also p2 is neutral so it can kind of take those hits pretty decently well so like that's definitely not like something to be concerned about either so i think it's definitely like solid in general I looked it up because I was curious. Yeah, it's called lightning energy in Pope in um TCG. Oh, is that why? So, so that's why that's you're why confused. I'm calling it lightning is because that's actually what it, it's called lightning energy, and we just did the TCG tournament. So, <laughs> oops. Funny. Oh well, dude. <laughs> now you're gonna be saying lightning type for the rest of your VGC <laughs> career. Pretty much, you can take the girl out of TCG, but you can't get the TCG out of the girl. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hate Try. to see it, <laughs> dude. We don't talk about TCG in this house, dude now but um yeah so that's pretty much it i mean uh besides that do you have any other questions or anything or for the most part does that make sense um i think that makes sense oh you never really answered my question about like the electric pokemon or did you kind of i was just googling things oh i uh, yeah i said that basically you use grimstarl to like set screens kind of reduce their damage you swap into stuff like rillaboom to take the electric moves and you also have like p2 as well which can kind of just sit in front of it without being like uh without okay. being too problematic 
Nice. Yeah. So that's like the main thing there. Um, another option, by the way, um, for some of you guys who are wondering um, about Ho-Oh's coverage, you can also run Earthquake on Ho-Oh. Um, so that could be good to break through like stuff like ground types um, or like stuff that's weak to ground uh, and let you special defense boost on your Ho-Oh. So that's just something to keep in mind that could potentially be good as well if anyone was like interested in running an Earthquake Ho-Oh set. So yeah. But yeah, so that's pretty much how we built this team. Again, Sierra, thank you for coming on. Uh, I'll have her channel linked down below. She's going to upload actually the full EVs uh, video and like everything, like where the team's like fully done, how she did, all that stuff um, on her channel once X9 League Championship is over. And uh, I think I'm going to be uploading this in the morning actually. So if you guys see this and you haven't signed up, I will link X9 League below. You guys will probably have like two hours from when this video is up to sign up. So I'll put that down below as well. And obviously make sure to check out coaching, all the stuff down below. Thank you again, Sierra, for obviously coming on. Yep. Thanks for having me and helping me build a team so I could win your event. <laughs> yep, that's the plan, right? All right, guys. So thank you again for all the support on the videos. And I will see you guys on the next video. Oh, also too, let uh, let me know if uh, you guys would like to see more of uh, like videos with Sierra on as well. Because like I, I love working with Sierra as well, you know, obviously. We're close anyways and like we kind of like spend a lot of time together anyway so it just kind of makes sense <laughs> but like yeah so make sure to let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see more but thank you guys again sorry to ruin your like outro pose or whatever you know i like i like stopped you from doing that <laughs> but yeah yeah all right guys you have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next video peace out Bye.